hello friends so today we are going to start the new topic of optics 1 from module 2 that is diffraction of light so before going further let us now understand first what is the definition of diffraction or what is diffraction actually so diffraction the bending of light round the sharp corners of an obstacle or slit on spreading into the regions of the geometrical shadow is known as diffraction of light so let me elaborate this so this is if we consider let this be the slit a slit means a small gap in between any object and if this is the source of light and this falls like this in the obstacle remember this is an opaque obstacle so by the corners that is the sharp edge the light bends in this direction so this phenomena is known as diffraction that's why it is written as an obstacle or a slit so we have seen a slit and an obstacle behaves like this if, let this be a screen and if here is an obstacle so if there is a source of light here this is source 2 this is source 1 and if light falls like this it bends from the corners but remember this point the size is comparable to the slit from which the light is passing and the wavelength that is the size of the slit that is the width of the slit let it be a so a must be comparable to lambda where lambda is the wavelength of the light falling actually what happens if we magnify this portion we will see that from this edge the light beams strike and it bends in different directions it bends in different directions this phenomena basically is known as diffraction of light beam now what does this means the geometrical shadow that is in this case if here is the slit present and here we consider a screen and the geometrical shadow of this portion will be this portion of the screen and geometrical shadow of this portion will be this portion of the screen now due to the phenomena of diffraction that we have studied if this is the source of light and this is the direction of movement then we can see that light beam after striking this edge it not only falls in this part but it diffracts to fall in this part also that is the geometrical shadow of these obstacles like this this phenomena is known as diffraction so now let us move further and see the derivations and formula so now further we are going to study the types of diffraction number one is Frenzel's diffraction 
and number two is Fraunhofer diffraction. In the syllabus, we only have the difference and the definition of these two kinds of diffraction. So friends, here I have written the difference between two kind of diffraction. That is number one is Frenzel diffraction and number two is Fraunhofer diffraction. So let us give a quick revision. What are these diffractions? So Frenzel diffraction. Here the source of light, the screen or both the source of light and screen are at finite distance are at finite distance from the narrow slit i will show you the diagram and in form of a diffraction the opposite happens the source the screen both are at infinite distance they are at infinite distance from the slit Number two, incident wave front is either spherical or cylindrical in case of Frenzel diffraction. Here, in case of Fraunhofer diffraction, both incident and emergent wave fronts are plane wave fronts. Number three, in case of Frenzel, there is no lens required, but in case of Fraunhofer that we are going to study further. And we are we also have done experiments in the laboratory lenses are always used so let me show you a small schematic diagram of how Frenzel and Fraunhofer diffraction works if this is the slit and let this be the screen we know distance between the screen and the source of light from the slit is always finite in case of Frenzel diffraction. Here the light comes, get diffracted by the sharp corners and fall in the screen. Similarly with this corner light gets diffracted and fall in this screen. We are only considering one point. Let this be another beam of light. So this is the case of Frenzel diffraction. Here is the source. Here is the slit. And this is the screen. In case of Fraunhofer diffraction, we are going to study further in more details. But let me show you a schematic diagram here. If this is the slit, we are considering the single slit experiment of Fraunhofer. If this is the slit and this is the source of light, that is S2, and this is the slit, let this be the screen. Remember, here the distance is infinite, that is, this distance and this distance both are infinite. Let this be the screen. Here we use lenses. The same will happen only with the help of two lenses. One is here, another one is here. And similarly, the light rays goes like this and it falls here at a point not on one point since we have studied the interference pattern previously there will be many maxima and minima that we know we are considering one point so this is the basic difference between Frenzel and Fraunhofer diffraction. Only this is 
in uh, in our syllabus and further for the diffraction and the calculation processes we will consider fraunhofer diffraction differential diffraction is no more considered for derivation of the formulas